Hey guys, Bert the Stormtrooper. Been a while. Still, you know, selling into the new house and all that. Um, not quite doing videos from my toy room yet because, well, my toy room still looks like this. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, new house kind of a thing, moving in and selling in and projects all over the house, um, especially with us working all from home. You know, everybody's doing home improvement projects nowadays, so I got to get all the other projects done before I can start working on my own. I got my game room done, so that was good. The game room looks good, but the uh, the toy room, yeah, it's going to be a while before that's done. Um, but anyway, hey, I got a box today, so we're going to do an unboxing today. From I got a package from my good friend Jason, the Patriot Prime. Go check out, I'm going to put him over here, or over here, uh, go check him out. Uh, the Patriot Prime, uh, if you liked my content and if you missed my content, uh, now that I'm not doing a whole lot of it uh, at the moment, uh, go check him out. Uh, man, they, his channel is amazing and it's just growing every day even more. So, uh, yeah, go check him out. Uh, he does, you know, new figures. He does G1 figures and he does a lot of toy hacks, uh, sticker stuff. He just started a new series uh, where he's actually like stickering, going through the process of restoring. He just did his first video. He restored a G1 Prime. It was a really, really cool video. So go check him out because uh, he's got a great channel and a good friend of mine. And he sent me a package. He sent me Transformers. So let's open this up and check it out. Uh, let me uh, switch up the camera real quick. All right, so let's get this package opened up. And I have been itching to open this up all day. I've been waiting. And I wanted to do this in front of the camera so you guys, you know, could see what we're getting here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to open this box and show you what's inside. I think what I want to do as well is uh, go ahead and open what is inside. Take it out and check it out uh, with you guys on camera. Kind of give you first impressions, first thoughts as to what this is. So let's, uh, I think I got it maybe. Yeah, almost there. Mystery box from the Patriot Prime. Again, Jason, thank you so much for sending me this. This is so, so cool. Oh, we can see a little preview. <laughs> we know what that is. That's from the uh, Netflix series. Let me try and get a good view or a good grip of it here. And there it is. The Netflix version of the Siege Megatron. Really excited about this figure. You know, this Megatron figure just doesn't get old. Uh, it's just such a good mold. I'm actually kind of kicking myself in the rear for not picking up the G2 Combat version. Um, it was online for like 18 bucks and I passed on it. And now that I got this one, this is one that I hadn't... I, I, I was on the fence on getting this one. And then Jason reached out to me. He says, hey man, I got a, a, a multiple uh, a, a, of this. Uh, I'm going to send you one. Uh, and uh, man, I was just so excited and so stoked. I'm like, you know what? I'm all in. Let's check him out. Especially after seeing his review of this figure. Uh, I was really all in after seeing that review. And uh, you'll notice, actually, I got another figure over here. Uh, I just recently picked up this Crosshairs, uh, also from the Siege line, uh, because we've got Pinpointer right here. Is it Pinpointer? Uh, it sure is. It's Pinpointer, uh, which is the uh, Target Master, uh, or at least back in G1, he was the Target Master for Crosshairs. So as soon as Jason told me that he was going to send me this, I ran out to the store and picked this guy up. Which, by the way, very cool figure. Um, I, I, I skipped on the Ironhide slash Ratchet slash um, uh, uh, Crosshairs um, mold. And uh, so that I went and picked it up. And uh, man, this is a very fun figure. I really like this figure a lot. So yeah, very excited about this. Let's get this guy uh, opened up. So here's a box again. So this is going for, I think, uh, 30, uh, 30 bucks, maybe it's a Voyager. Voyager's a 30. So maybe this one's 40 because it's got the, uh, the, what, the little uh, target master. And uh, what, what is this? Is this a weaponizer? What are they called? I'm not sure, but you know, you got lionizer there and painter pointer. So I think these may be going for 40. Uh, on the uh, on the Voyager size scale there. All right, let's get him opened up and check him out. And again, I mean, you guys literally just saw what my room looks like. So um, obviously, I don't have either of my other two Megatrons handy to use for comparison. So we're gonna miss out on on, on comparisons. But again, Jason did some comparisons. So uh, go check his review of this figure uh, to see that. Um, yeah, it's 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 probably gonna be a while before my uh, <laughs> my collection is up on display. 
Uh, when I moved into the last house, the house that we just moved out of, we moved into the house, uh, I think, 14 years ago. And it was about a year, I'd say, uh, from the time we moved in to the time that that room was actually uh, set up and, and, you know, like in display, like the way you guys are used to seeing that room in the background in my videos. I think that was about a year before it got to that point. And it went through many incarnations before that. It was originally a Star Wars room, and then it was kind of like a Batman room, and then it, it was a Transformers only room, and then it just kind of became a little bit of everything room, which is what you guys are used to seeing. So there's the, there's the empty box. We'll set that aside for now. And uh, so here's the instructions, real quick. And uh, nothing we don't know already about Megatron. Now, uh, let's see. I think Pinpointer is uh, a remold of a target. Well, obviously, he's a repaint, uh, not a remold. A repaint of a target master that I already have. One of the guys that I picked up, I think, for Rodimus. So I've, I've, I've had this guy before. I'm familiar with this mold. Nothing new there for me. But uh, I don't have Lionizer. This is my first Lionizer, and I don't have whatever his previous version was. I saw him at Target today. I think it's like black paint of this of this figure. Uh, it's my first experience with that one. And, of course, Megatron, we know it's the exact same Megatron that we've had. But there's the instructions right there. Nothing, again, nothing we, we're not familiar with. And it uh, looks like just some instructions for the uh, two little Target Master. Target Master, what is this? Is this a weaponizer? You guys comment down below. Tell me what this, these are called uh, because I don't know. And then it shows you Megatron holding both of those. And of course, these are Autobots. And, and in case you haven't seen that, let me go ahead and show that. Um, it does state that somewhere on this box, it states that they are captives. Yeah. So right there, it does say captive prisoner pinpointer and captive prisoner lionizer. So even though these are Autobots, they are uh, prisoners of Megatron. That's why he co they come with him and why he's holding them. And then on this side, of course, we've got those instructions for Megatron. And again, you know, uh, I've already had this figure twice before. This is my third uh, one of these. So nothing new there. Uh, let's, oh, this is cool. Check that out. I got, got the little uh, effects there. Let's go ahead about popping these off. We'll set these aside. For the weapons, I like the little blast effects. I wonder if I can do something with these and maybe the fusion cannon. That would be cool if we can get away with something like that. I think this is my first real unboxing. I mean, I've unboxed things before and, and so much as opening the package and showing you what's inside, but to actually open the toy and, and take it out piece for piece and just kind of first impressions, I think this is the first time I've done one of these. So there's that. And, um, you know, a little, not so much red paint as we had in the previous version, but uh, yeah. yeah, we got a pretty cool version of that. I love the colors on this. Let's get Lionizer out. This is my first Lionizer, or at least my first one of these in this mold. So there's that guy there. I really don't even, not quite sure how to even transform him. I haven't played with that one yet. Let's get Pinpointer out. Pinpointer is really kind of, uh, I'm really excited about Pinpointer because I got Crosshair stick here to go with him. But there he is. There's Pinpointer. And yep, it's the one with the two barrels. So I already have this mold. Um, so I, I, I have experience with this one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to remember <laughs> off the top of my head how to transform him, but yeah. Uh, this guy is definitely going to go with him immediately. Like, this guy's never going to go to Megatron. He's going to go immediately to him, but there he is. Very, very cool. We'll set him off to the side, and let's get Megatron out. And, uh, wow, look at that. This is cool. So, the only um, little tie that I really had to cut was the one that was over the sword. Uh, other than that, nothing else is tied down. You can just pop him right out of the package. Uh, so, that's cool. And uh, we'll get this guy out. And I really love what they've done with the colors on this figure. It's just, I don't know if this is going to come through on camera, especially on a webcam, which is what I'm shooting with now. It's not my usual self. My cell phone camera, which is usually what I shoot with, has such good resolution uh, and such a good picture. I'm using a webcam, so obviously that's not going to be as good as my quality as my usual videos. Man, that is really in there. That is not easy to get out of there wow okay thank goodness they didn't tie it up because i would have wow that was a pain anyway where was that colors um yeah i don't know if this is coming through on this camera it's not the best camera but uh man that metallic finish on this figure is just so nice look at that so yeah megatron's got um yeah so right away 
uh, they they kind of fix this piece right here so it doesn't you see I'm putting uh, it's still popping off but not quite as easily as the previous version especially the first siege version you see I'm kind of tapping on it and, and putting a little bit of weight on there it's not quite popping off as easily you got to really kind of put some force in there for that to happen so that's good it won't the, the head's not just going to pop back as you're playing with it so that's nice and then the other complaint that this figure had a lot of was in the ankles so there's the ankles they just popped over and Oh, there's no, uh, there's no clicking. Uh, they had the, the first version had that, that joint that you had to click it back into place, and you had to really, kind of get some vice grips to get it to clip back into place. And uh, yeah, this one doesn't do that. Looks pretty tight. Those hold in place just fine. And then you can just put them back again, and they're straight. So that's that's good. That's been improved. And uh, yeah, all the uh, shoulders are nice and tight as well. I feel like something should be tabbed back here, right? This should be tabbed. Yeah, his backpack should be tabbed in. There we go. I have not played. I I actually really miss this mold. This is such an amazing figure, and uh, I miss messing with it. So I'm glad to have one now that I can have here on my desk uh, to mess with it. That is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Minor gripe. Um, I mean, it looks th the effect is well done. This is really nice. The black and the, the way it fades off and it looks like the metal underneath it, it's actually very well done. The effect is really, really good. My personal preference, though, I would have preferred it to be not so much rubbed off. Um, uh, I would have preferred to see all black on the legs and, you know, all of this battle scratches and all of that. Uh, I'm kind of done with them. I, I really kind of wanted to see a, a Megatron in a solid color. And that's the one thing we haven't had is a Megatron in a solid color. The, the, the first Siege one had all the scratches. Uh, and then the G1 version had all the uh, the cell shading, if you will. And now this one's got, you know, the scratches on the on the chest and the scratches on the crotch piece here and the fade and again the fade effect is done well but just for personal preference i would have liked to have seen a megatron with some nice solid colors and and, and not uh, not any fading or weathering anything like that but yeah really cool figure now the question do i remember this is not a complicated figure uh but that being said do i remember how to do this because uh, i really don't think that i do <laughs> I may have to pull the instructions out on this. It's been, wow, it's been several months since I've had a chance to play with my Megatron figure. And I just simply don't know if I remember how to do this. And I'm going to look like a complete fool on camera. And I'm starting to kind of think I, should, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I'm committed now. But I don't think I should have done this. Maybe I need to look at the instructions. Also, he's super tight, so I'm kind of scared to mess with him because of how tight he is so let's see if man that is really tight I'm like scared I'm gonna break him or something okay oh you know what I didn't do I didn't put his fusion cannon on I didn't show me I didn't show you guys how he looked with his fusion cannon how about this let's take it back to robot mode and then I'll get re acquainted with the figure how about that Yeah, how can I show off a Megatron without that fusion cannon in his arm? Man, I am just remiss. But you know what? Just even the, that that semi... Okay, so there's a thing. Uh, I don't know if that happened with any of my other Megatron figures, but you saw how easily that popped off. This one didn't do that. This one did. And just when I was... I was just about to comment on how tight all the joints feel. Very, very tight. Uh, but there you go. Now we've got Megatron with the Fusion Cannon looking nice. While we're at it, let's give him the... Uh, let's give him that. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. That is a fantastic looking figure. Man, I'm going to have fun tonight uh, messing with this figure. Let's do this. Let's set him... Let's just lay him down so you can see him. And real quick, let's transform this guy. This guy has been on my desk all week. I've been playing with him all week. I'm, I'm very, very familiar <laughs> with this one. I can transform him in just a few steps. So let's get this one transformed real quick because I'm really eager to set him up with his target master. And again, very fun figure. I'm really happy that I picked this one up. There we go, all set. And this is probably just going to get put away in my bag of parts because I just don't like this at all. So, all right, let's get Pinpointer now. Let's lay him down so you can see him. Let's get Pinpointer transformed. Let me look at a picture of Pinpointer. 
So this is what it looks like. Yeah, those are supposed to be up. Just like this looks like. And before this video gets too long, we'll go ahead and finish it up there. So tabs here on the sides. There we go. There we got Pinpointer in his weapon mode. And now we've got Crosshairs and Pinpointer back together again. That is very exciting. Uh, it's, you know, not only is this in a, an amazing mold and, and a great figure to have, but to get a, a, a repeat of that Target Master as a Pinpointer so that I can pair him up with Crosshairs, that is a super, super bonus. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this guy. Uh, maybe he'll just sit here on my desk. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Uh, and just so you guys can see what's, what is on my, this is my work desk that I'm working on right now. I got this guy. I just stickered him up with toy hacks. So I've done that. And then I've got, you guys remember the last video I did with the Bumblebee. He's still, he's been on my desk this whole time. And then my Optimus Prime, that, uh, Patriot Prime restickered for me as well. So there's that. Cool. Okay, so we're going to cut it off there. We're getting very, very long-winded, so we're just going to cut it off there. We'll leave these guys here so you can kind of see them coming out. Uh, very strange and unusual format for me. Just this kind of top-down view, uh, just uh, on the fly, nothing prepared. Uh, oh, here. Let's do this. I wanted to see. Oh, we can do this. Check that out. That is so cool. I love that. That is really, really cool. And, of course, we can also give pinpoint or some we'll just give him the one for now so he's got that pew pew and then megatron also has a pew pew uh, <laughs> very cool oh man i'm gonna have a lot of fun with these figures now uh, and it's just nice to have something to mess with here at my desk uh that i can play with um while i'm waiting for my figures to uh be uh, uh you know put back on shelves again it's gonna be a while so uh thanks again uh for checking in uh like i said you know everything's going well uh we're doing good um i've had some back injuries uh during the move and i and, you know i've had some some physical issues that i quite haven't recovered from which is also slowing down the process of getting the room set up uh but uh, everybody that sends messages i'm still getting comments on the channel and sending messages checking in want to see how i'm doing all of that thank you guys for checking in on me uh yep doing good it's just uh moving in process gonna be a little slow and all of that and not really uh, uh have anything out uh for material um and, and i've been kind of uh you know uh not having anything to fiddle around with at my desk so it's it's nice you know it's starting to get filled up here with a couple of figures so this is this is nice though um again so thank you everybody thank you patriot prime for sending me this set uh this is really really cool i really appreciate it i absolutely love this figure i can't wait to start uh, fiddling with him and remember how to transform him again and just kind of get him in the tank mode looks like we're getting this figure again in the uh earth rise um unfortunately they didn't listen to apparently hasbro did not listen to us during our christmas episode when we said hey maybe we should get a galvatron for Earthrise. Instead, they're going to give us a slight retool slash remold of this figure again for Earthrise, where the tank is going to look a little more earthy mode, but it's still basically the same figure. So I mean, it looks like we're going to get it again at some point, and I'm probably going to get it because this is an amazing mold. Love it. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking in. Thank you, Jason, uh, Patriot Prime, for sending me this. Guys, go check out Jason. Uh, go check out the channel if you haven't already. Awesome channel, awesome content. Thank you guys for checking me out. And uh, I'll see you again when I get an idea for another video. See you guys soon.